Hey Virgos and welcome to my channel. I am doing your October 2018 channeled messages. Um, for you Virgos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, um, the main um, theme or outlook of the month for you guys is the number 22. I keep seeing the number 22 over and over and over, which is um, your angels letting you know that you're on the right path, that your dreams are so close to becoming a reality, um, to not give up. So for a lot of you, um, I see you moving locations, moving into different areas. Um, yeah, your dreams are, you're manifesting very quickly. So make sure you're setting your intentions. Um, make sure you are, um, being very clear about what you want, write your goals down, your dreams down, aim, shoot big and aim for the stars because you guys are going to accomplish so much in the month of October towards your goals, towards, um, what you want out of this life. So, um, you guys are on the right path. Keep going. Um, yeah, you guys just, there's a powerful vibe about you guys this month. Um, especially if you follow numerology, you know, 22 is a master number. Um, so you guys have all this powerful energy behind you. Um, don't miss the chance to take advantage of that. For some of you, um, you're finding it hard to express your feelings to somebody that you care about, um, somebody that you love, somebody that you want to be with. Um, you're, you're finding it hard to say the right words, to express, to put into words um, what it is that you feel for them. So you're just staying silent. Uh, advice to you would be to speak up, um, because these people are getting a weird vibe off of you. You're acting weird at times. Um, and I don't mean that insultingly. You're just acting weird sometimes. They're not, they don't get you. Um, it's like you're almost hot and cold and it's not that you guys want or are thinking of breaking up with this person. You just don't know how to express, don't know how to show this person how much you care about them. And you end up drawing your energy back. So they're getting mixed signals. Uh, make sure uh, you're telling these people how you feel. Just throw it out there. Because for this group of you, they feel the exact same way. So you're not going to um, sound silly or, or be rejected or anything like that. So just put it out there. Um, some of you are dealing with somebody that you've had a lot of arguments with in the last couple months. This could be another earth sign or water sign. Um, yeah, there's just a lot of arguing back and forth. Uh, it doesn't even necessarily have to be like yelling, screaming, but just bickering. Um, I see you guys are getting very irritated. Um, very testy and short with these people because you feel like they're forcing you to communicate. Um, yeah, you're just very annoyed by somebody. You just want left alone. Make sure you don't go too far into that seclusion. Yeah. in that state of seclusion, because that's not healthy for you either. You need to voice yourself this month, Virgo, um, whether you have a problem with someone or whether it's your feelings about somebody, um, it's time to speak up. You guys, um, oftentimes let things build up and build up and build up and it just, plays out through your head and to the point where you explode. But, um, yeah, communication is being called for this month in ver uh, various situations in your life. Um, some of you Virgos or somebody is doing this to you. You're, um, watching somebody from afar, not like creeper stockish vibe, but, like you're, you're admiring somebody from a distance. Um, you notice everything about them, the way they walk, the way they talk, the way their hair looks, the way their eyes sparkle. Um, you guys are very just mesmerized by this person's aura around them, their vibe. Don't hesitate to take a leap. Don't hesitate to to, um, ask this person to coffee or whatever, uh, because they're noticing you as well. 
This is possibly somebody that you haven't dated before. You do know this person because the, the interaction is very casual. You have met this person before, but I don't think you've dated this person. Yeah. For some of you out there, um, there's somebody in your energy that you have helped over and over and over. Every time they need something, they call you first. You're the first one on their speed dial and you're the first one to answer. Um, you're asking this person for help and they're non-existent. This is making you very irritated. Um, it's time to put people in your life or kick people out of your life that don't equally give to the relationship, whether it's a friendship, a relationship, um, a work relationship, it should always be an equal give and take. If you feel like you're constantly giving to this person, borrowing them money, giving them a ride, um, watching their kids, what, however it is that you're constantly helping this person, um, if they're not willing to do the same for you, uh, it's going to drive you crazy. You're being called to start purging. Purge out the people in your life that no longer have space, that you no longer have space for. Um, because you guys are going through a huge transformation right now. Huge. Um, you're awakening. And to tell you the truth, a lot of you are, are scared. You don't understand it. Um, you can't process these feelings. You don't know where this is coming from. It's going to be okay. Um, it's not going to last much longer. And you're then going to be ascended to a higher level of consciousness, a higher level of knowledge. Um, it's going to become start becoming more and more apparent to you what and why this is happening. For some of you, you're wanting the details, the who, the what, the when, the where of a situation that has really been nagging at you, really been bugging you. Um, like always in the back of your mind, you're like investigating. You're, um, you don't fully trust this person, uh, but they're saying give them a break because uh, for this group of you, you always look for the bad before you see the good. Um, and this person isn't out to um, have bad intentions towards you. This person isn't out to hurt you or take from you. Um, but you're so busy looking for what's wrong in this person that you don't realize that they could be Mr. or Mrs. Right. So, um, yeah. So give this person a chance before you, before you throw them to the side. For some of you, there's something that's really driving you insane. Some situation It's you know, on the outside, you look calm, you look great. You look fabulous put together. Um, you got a plan of action, but inside the back of your mind, you're trying to figure out what the hell is going on. Um, you're going to figure that out. It's going to come to you in the form of meditation or prayer or, um, dreams. So, uh, for this group of you, I see you finding meditation and music. That's where you clear your head space. That's where you let source in, um, it's through music. So your angels are working at sending you messages through music. So um, really pay attention to the songs that you choose to play, um, the words, the lyrics to that song that you keep hearing over and over on the radio. Like this is the fourth channel I've turned it to and three of those channels have the same song playing on it. Pay attention to that because there's a message for you in that about the situation that, that's, that you have to try to figure it out. Um, it's neat how our angels work through different things in our life to send us messages, but you're going to, you're going to know it when you hear the song, you're going to think back to this and know what the message is for you. So be aware of that. <clears throat> for some of you, you guys are weeding out your friends list. Um, you guys have a small circle of friends. Anyways, you could be possibly making that smaller because, uh, some people in your circle are not supporting your vision, your future. Um, stay strong and do what feels right. Follow that gut. For some of you, you're waiting on somebody. You're growing very impatient. Uh, you want it now. You hate waiting. Um, just a little bit more time. 
because it's not all right yet. It's not the, the path is not cleared yet for this person to come towards you. Just, uh, remain patient and know that it is coming for you in November. I see, um, for this group of you, for some of you, you're considering moving, but you have like a weird feeling about it. Um, don't do this. If your gut is telling you something else, don't do this. If it doesn't feel right, because that is, that means it's not right. So, um, this is for, if you're like moving locations, like moving your home, your family, moving a business, if there's like, some of you are getting weird gut feelings, listen to those, um, investigate everything you can about where you're going to, what's, you know, the neighborhoods, things like that, because that's, that's happening for a reason. Um, for some of you, it's really hard for you to snap out of a bad mood. I don't know. It's you're, you've been very emotionally lately because you're waiting for, you're waiting for something or you're trying to hide from something. I'm not quite sure um, in what what direction. Yeah, that that's going. Okay, sorry about that. My computer just up and shut off on me. So hopefully we got it going all right again, and hopefully this will pick up where. It had turned off. I'm not sure when it quit. So if I repeat myself, I do apologize. Um, my equipment has been very touchy lately. So, um, so if I repeat myself, I'm sorry. Uh, so for some of you, you're looking for answers. Um, you're being called to go within. You're looking to everybody else for, um, for them to either tell you what direction to go in or to validate what you're doing, what direction you're going in, just follow your heart and go within and find those answers because that's the only way you're going to be able to live your truth, speak your truth, um, and truly be happy, not fake happy. Um, for some of you, you need to make a choice. This could be a choice between two people or two situations. Um, but there's a choice that needs to be made. Could be between an earth sign and a fire sign or a fire sign and a water sign. Um, yeah, you need to make a choice between these two people and you're being pulled in two different directions. And everyone's like, you need to choose, you need to choose. But for you, it's not so easy. It's You're finding it very hard to make this choice. Even though you clearly know what choice you want to make, it's hard for you to um, take action on it. Don't let this fear steal your happiness. Don't let this fear steal the opportunity for you to feel joy, love, like real joy, true joy within. Um, because that's what fear will do. It will steal this from you because um, the opportunity is going to be missed very soon. They're going to decide to move on if that decision isn't made um, very clear and very soon. Uh, do what feels right. Follow your heart. It's going to hurt one of the two. Either way, this in either situation, someone's going to be hurt. Um, so do what makes you happy. Um, you can't stay where you don't want to be and, and want to be happy or expect different outcomes. Um, for the majority of you, you will, you will choose to move forward with this fire sign. Um, Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Uh make sure you're consistent. Um, I see a lot of inconsistencies. Um, not that you don't want to be with this person, but in the month of October, I see you like pulling away and then, you know, coming close again, pulling away. Um, a lot of wishy-washy emotions right now. Just trust, trust your decisions, trust your choices, no matter what you choose, no matter what direction you choose to go in. Trust that it's what's meant for you and trust that this is what is meant for you. 
Yeah, because your angels will never lead you down the wrong path. Your angels will never take away from you what is meant to be. So as long as you follow your heart, you can't go wrong. For some of you, you have a mountain of anxiety um, and it is overtaking your your life. The way you communicate, the way you interact um, is causing you to withdraw, um, to uh, almost seclude yourself in an unhealthy way. You could be turning to addictions or um, things that are not healthy for you. Be cautious of this. Um, I see you avoiding people. Uh, and in that avoidance, you are um, doing things that are not healthy. So be cautious of that. Uh, for some of you, you need to find some balance. There's a lot of imbalances. And it's due to the last year of juggling whatever um, situations in your life you've been juggling. Uh, it's time to put, put it down. Find a balance, find peace within. A lot of you are asking, well, how? How do I find peace within? Do find something that that allows you to ground yourself. Do something that allows you to clear your mind. Um, meditation. I know a lot of people are like, well, I can't clear my mind for two minutes. Like every time I think, don't think of anything. Something is thought. Um don't look at it that way. Just breathe deep, release, and concentrate on your breath. And just do it for a minute one day. As soon as you can go a minute with only thinking about your breathing, go to two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Um, it only takes five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night uh, in the beginning. You know, um, I know I do 10 in the morning, 10 at night, and throughout different times in the day when I feel I need it. But just start with one minute. You can do that. You can do it. Um, yeah, and once you get that channel clear, your mind clear, and you're just concentrating on your breath, then allow your mind to concentrate on one thing. You know, ask your angels, you know, show me the path. And just sit there and imagine your angels. And they will show, and then you can um, think about whatever it is that you're thinking about in meditation. But you're going to find an answer that you have been looking for, that you've had so much confusion around in that form of meditation. So it's very important to you, for you, if you're looking for answers, um, to start meditating just a minute a day until, I mean, and add to it. Every time you can go that minute, you're going to, that's how you're going to find your answer for this group of you. For some of you, um, you have met somebody that you want to build a better life with. You want to be a better person for. You want to give this person the world. And you're trying to figure out how to do it. Um, you're worried that you don't have enough to give. Um, don't fear that. This person is going to love you for you and you yourself, not materialistic things not what you can give them but what you give each other so um but you've got to take that leap you got to take that leap of faith you you will never achieve greater things if you never leave where you're standing um you can't reach that level of amazing if you're standing on mediocre so you got to jump you got to take that leap leap and in the next three months, October, November, and December, um, this is going to cause this group of you to have a whirlwind of amazing blessings come in, changes, moving, uh, relationships. You just have to, you have to have enough confidence in yourself to know that no matter what, whether you take that leap and fall or you take that leap and fly, you're going to, you're going to be okay. Some of you are fearful because you've been hurt in the past. So what? You can't go the rest of your life without, wait, I guess you can, but do you honestly want to go the rest of your life without feeling love again because you're fearful that they're going to hurt you? You can't do that. You have to move out of that um, fear of being hurt because you're going to get hurt again. It's life. Um, but you have to enjoy the moment. You have to take that risk if you want this true happiness to come towards you. Um. For some of you, you're bonded to somebody toxic. Uh, it's it's time to walk away from that. Leave it in your past and don't revisit it. This person, um, they just bring your vibration down and it's not healthy for you. 
for this group of you, you know who I'm talking about. Um, it's, it's time to walk away from that person. Um, for the last seven, eight, nine months for this group of you, you've been really reevaluating your life. Um, taking stock of what you've accomplished, how far you've come, what you've lost, what you've gained. This is helping you, help pushing you forward. Yeah. For some of you, um, when you follow your heart, monetary success is going to follow you in ways that you never even imagined possible. This is very exciting for this group of you. So um, congratulations in the month of October. For some of you, somebody extends themselves out to you, uh, offers you a relationship, offers you love, um, and this just brings you nothing but joy and excitement for the future. This relationship is a life partner situation, and you will um, be very successful with this person. You've met them uh, probably in the last month to two months, possibly through work, but um, but doesn't have to be uh yeah, this is going to be uh, somebody that you're going to spend the rest of your life with. So have fun, enjoy the moment, and um, don't rush it. Uh, for some of you, be careful. There's somebody in your space that is trying to get away with something. Try to pull the wool over your eyes in some way. Um, could be like in a court system. Could be like a divorce. Uh, the other person is trying to hide money or... They're hiding something around the finances, so make sure you and your lawyer or whoever this is um, is reading through the fine print and digging up everything because this person is trying to get away with something. Um, somebody is reaching out to you in your third house, so that would be communication. Somebody is communicating with you, um, wanting to reunite. Uh, this could be a soulmate twin flame situation. Um, you more than anything want to jump right into that, but you're fearful, release that fear and allow this, um, reunion to come in this month, <clears throat> especially you're going to find success. Um, you don't want to miss this opportunity, uh, because you're fearing the outcome of it being negative or, um, fearing hurting somebody else that you're currently involved with. Um, you know, this relationship is right for you. You know it. So take that leap of faith once again. There's for some of you, you're stuck in the past and you need to put more effort into moving forward. Um, you're right now, like asking yourself, why is this going on? Why is this happening? Why me? Why does it seem like when it rains, it pours? The universe is, is giving you these tests, um, these situations that are allowing you to build um, pretty much a toolbox. You're going to now have all your tools that you need to be successful down the road um, because you're learning these lessons now. Um, they are preparing you for things that are going to come to you in the future so you can handle them with, with grace, with ease. And um, they won't be so life shattering in the future. For some of you, you are seeing signs and symbols and synchronicities showing you that your soulmate is in your presence or they are coming very soon. Um, you guys have people returning to you. This could be, you could have been split from a, anywhere from a year to 17 years. I'm seeing um, your soulmates are returning this month and next month, especially um, and you know it. You can feel it. There's something in deep inside you that you feel. You know. Um, and this is moving you into this beautiful, beautiful union and reunion. For some of you, you recently lost a job or you're considering leaving a job. Um, something better is on its way. You are moving on um, in the career field and you are going to find better working conditions where you can be more creative or um, you can express yourself without fear of retaliation. This is all, for some of you, it's a better paying job. For some of you, it's close to comparable, but you're going to be happy. You're going to wake up and enjoy going to work and you're going to work for people who appreciate you, which right now you either just left a job or you lost a job or you're thinking about leaving a job. These, the, that employer just doesn't appreciate or respect or you know, that have kind of narcissistic tendencies. Um, so just leaving that energy behind is going to 
take that 50 pound weight off your shoulders and allow you to wake up every morning and enjoy going to your job. Um, for some of you, your shadow side is being exposed and we all have a shadow light and dark side. Um, it's just the way life is. But, uh, for some of you, you're like being blasted. Like somebody is like just exposing your secrets. Um, it could be like, like an ex or somebody you're trying to get out of a relationship with or in your family. It's something in that dynamic. They're telling your secrets to your family or or something along those lines. Um, your family will eventually see the truth. Uh, they will eventually see what kind of person this, this person is. And um, it's just you're going to have to uh, ride through the waves a little bit. Some of you Virgos, you don't have your family's support and decision that you want to make. And that's what's holding you back from making it. Follow your heart. They'll see you're happy in the end. And they will they will turn around. They will support you in the future. Um, yeah, some of you, you're standing up for yourself this month, which is so amazing. Um, stand your ground. Don't take anybody's shit. Uh, you don't need it. Uh, for some of you, new beginnings are here. New beginnings are on the way. They're, they're here. Some of you I see moving away from somebody and into your own home or a different home. Um, around the 8th of October, um, some of you have uh, lovers returning that you have been in separation from. Uh, they're just going to show up at your door. Another important date is the 16th of October for you guys. You're going to have a powerful, powerful download. Um, I can't express how big this download is. Make sure you are well rested um, and that you're you're taking care of your body. Uh, exercise, eating right, um, staying very hydrated because the energies that are going to be coming in are going to make your body feel just exhausted. So that's the 16th into the 17th. Um, huge download. The 22nd of October is also important for you guys who are super single and looking for love. Somebody is going to rock your world. They're going to, you're going to meet them this day. And, um, that's all she wrote. You're going to just take off from there. Beautiful relationship. Um, these are soulmates and life partners for a large group of you. The last date I'm seeing for you guys is October 31st, Halloween, my favorite holiday of all time. Um, the veil between our realm and the spiritual realm is going to be at its thinnest. Um, and a lot of you are going to start uh, noticing your psychic abilities um, that from the download you received two weeks prior. And you're going to um, start being able to feel the change in the air as well as some of you are going to be awakened to be able to see um, the spiritual realm as well. Also, I'm seeing now the 22nd as well. So um, this is a huge date for twin flames. If you're waiting for uh, a twin flame, a fire sign twin flame, or if they're waiting on you, you two are making an official commitment um, and moving forward. In the month of November, I see a lot of you moving in together, but I'll get to that next month. So, um, yeah, this month's going to be a whirlwind for Virgos, uh, especially those of you in the Twin Flame soulmate uh, situations, uh, huge reunions coming um, between you guys and um, Aquarius, Sagittarius, Aries. And cancer. I see those four, ex especially in the month of October, November, and December, there will be more. Um, but those four, um, those four zodiac signs, especially in their sun, moon, rising, or Venus. <clears throat> For some of you, you're in a relationship that's kind of like there's just no excitement, no nothing. Um, you love this person, but you're not in love with this person. You possibly have children together also, or there's children involved in some way. Um, follow your heart. Make the choice that you feel needs to be made. Um, the longer you hold out, the worse it is on you both. 
and you both deserve to be in relationships that are meant for you. So take your lessons. The lessons have been learned. There's no more reason to be with that karmic. Um, you both have learned your lessons. Now um, move forward with those lessons and your guys' true love will come in at that point for both of you, especially if they're another earth sign uh, or a water sign. So, so don't hold back. Be fearless this month. Um, take the leap. What's the worst that can happen? Um, yeah, because as long as you follow your heart, you're going to be okay. So yeah, just walk your walk and talk your talk, honor your truth, honor your path, honor your vision, because in the month of October and the two months following, huge dreams are coming true for you guys. Manifestation is at its highest and um, reunions, unions, and new relationships are just flourishing. So take advantage. Don't miss this opportunity of Virgos. So that's all I have for you guys. I want to thank you so very much for joining me and for watching my video. If you haven't yet subscribed, please do. Um, for those of you who are returning and have been subscribers of mine, thank you for your continuous support. My journey, my path would not be the same without you guys along the way. So I thank you for that. As always, I send you love, light, and God bless.